hey, congratulations on picking up your third gen Amazon Echo. Now, it's going to take a few minutes to get set up, but it's not going to be too tough. So let's get started. What's up? I'm Mike, and welcome to Better Trip. We get bite sized tutorials and tech reviews. Let's you know you should get it or forget it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and click for notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Let's start off with making sure you have your Wi Fi password handy. Whether you have it in a password manager, know it in your head, or you have it on a sticky note in the kitchen, make sure you have it on hand because we're going to need it later. Next up is getting the Agatha app on your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Now, if you have it set up, you can skip along to the next step, but if you don't, you get it straight from the App Store or the Play Store. Once it's installed, go ahead and log in your Amazon account and then follow those instructions from there. Okay, now that you're logged in and your user accounts are set up, it's time to plug in your Echo. Now, when you plug it in, you're gonna notice that that blue light's gonna be spinning for a minute or two, and then a couple of different things might happen. If this isn't your first Ashley device, you might be greeted with this. Your Echo is ready. That means your device is already hooked up to your account when you purchased it, and you're almost completely set up. Otherwise, you're gonna see that blue light change from blue to orange, which means that's time for us to get to work. If you haven't done so already, open up the Amanda app. Now, when you open it, you might see this pop up, which means you get to skip ahead a couple steps. Otherwise, I want you to click that drop down menu in the top left corner. Then hit add device, select Amazon Echo, and then Echo. If you see that little orange light going around, then click yes. And the app's gonna start searching for your Echo. You should see the device pop up, but it doesn't always find it on its own. So, if it shows your device, then click it. If not, we're gonna have to do this other step. You're gonna have to click device not listed down there at the bottom. This is gonna make us manually connect to the new device. We've already started this process by trying to set it up, so you can skip ahead till you see something that kind of looks like this. Now, this process might look a little bit different on Android, but it works similarly. Open up your Wi-Fi settings and look for something that says Amazon and then it's like a two letter number combo. Click that, connect to the network, and when it connects, your Echo is gonna say this. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app, bringing your device online, just a moment. And listen to the woman, go back to your Amy app. Now we're gonna continue the Echo setup, so click continue in the Annie app. And then you're going to select the Wi-Fi network that you want to be connected to. Now, I have a ton of Amazon devices, so my Wi-Fi networks and passwords are already in here. It's just going to connect for me. But for you, you're likely going to have an extra step here where you're going to have to put in your network password, which is why I told you to keep that handy earlier. After that's all in, you just get to sit here with me and wait for your Echo to get prepared. So, um, what's up? How are you? How's the family? Why don't you say we speed this up a little bit, huh? Boom, your Echo is online. But there are still a couple things we have to do before you get to have fun with it. So go ahead, click continue. Now we're gonna pick what room your Echo is gonna be in. Doesn't matter what room it's in currently, it's the one that you want it to permanently be in. Picking the right room makes things easier down the road. So you could just turn off the lights in that room, have a preferred speaker that music plays on, and a couple other things. Then you're gonna put in your address. Doing this can help you get the weather in your area, and you can also call 911 because yes, your Echo can call emergency services. See, I told you it wasn't gonna be hard to set this thing up, and if you think that was easy, you're not gonna believe what we're gonna be able to do with your Echo by the end of this series. Right now, if you wanna find out how to link your Apple Music, Spotify, or other music streaming services, to your Amazon Echo device, click the link. I'll have link right there above and in the card at the end of the video. But that's it for me right now. If you guys liked the video, found it helpful in any way, leave a like, leave a comment, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.